Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, we're going to talk about Jean. And she was a very, very good Esper in Hollow Battle. But strong, right now, because they remove Hollow Battle, like she become totally useless. And But we will see why and how she can still probably perform in some uh, very niche case. But um, most of the time, he is kind of like being obsolete right now. So let's just see. Uh, the first skill attacks one enemy three times, damage per hit, 40% attack, so in total you're gonna deal 120% attack, it's a normal damage. Its hit has a 25% chance of inflicting stun for one turn. Very very low chance, but because it hits three times, you can sometimes get lucky in this one. So uh, the stun is still okay. Then the second skill attacks three random enemies, damage 90% attack, 100% chance of inflicting stun for one turn. Still 30% of the targets is AP. This is, this was a very very good skill in Hollow Battle. And for those of you who doesn't know what is Hollow Battle, a long long time ago, uh, you know, for those of you who are in club, uh, you can fight uh, you know other club in what they call a hollow battle so it's a it's a club like a guild pvp battle you know like a club pvp battle and and the battle takes place with three versus three so it's a totally different uh you know uh environment like because it's three versus three obviously as per the targets two or three enemies uh, are very very strong in there like at one point Tang Suan was really really strong there because Tang Suan only hit three enemies and because Hollow Battle only have three enemies that means that Tang Suan every single one of his attack deal uh, uh, AoE damage and also the same case for Jin Jin attacks three random enemies but because there are only three enemies in Hollow Battle that means that she attacks all of them and this is is a very reliable stun because it has 100% chance of inflicting stun on top of stealing 30% of target's AP and uh, you know even Pritzker who is like the best in stunning uh, enemies you know doesn't have AP uh, stealing in his skill even though it, the cooldown is the same as three turns like that's that's the best part of uh, Pritzker like he can permanently stun his enemies but he has a speed down chance and while uh, Jin have 30% AP steal which means that Jin after he used this skill he will move again like that's that's the best part about her you know so a uh, C can move really really fast and on top of being able to stun every three turns meaning that the enemy will be permanently get stunned but the thing is that in hollow battle back then you need to manually control your esper that's why you can use your second skill but if you leave it to your ai the ai will use the third skill first instead of the second skill so that's why right now Jin is in a very bad place once uh, after hollow battle is gone now going to her third skill, attacks one enemy two times, damage for first hit 120% attack, damage for second hit 12% of maximum HP. This is Jin's maximum HP, not the enemy's maximum HP, otherwise this is gonna be really really strong. But because this is Jin's maximum HP, um, this is kind of like alright, like you need to choose whether you want to increase your attack or you increase your HP. Most of the time you're gonna increase your HP because he's not really a damage deal dealer. Uh, although the damage is okay, but she doesn't have any damage that, you know, uh, deal above 180% attack damage or, or even reaching 200% attack damage. So she doesn't deal that much, but the maximum HP here is 12%. It's, it's similar to, um, you know, uh, like Jin Yu Yao or, or any other uh, Esper. Like Jin Yu Yao can deal up to 13%. And any other Esper that can use maximum HP as damage, usually the highest number is 13% maximum HP. So Jin was really really strong being like considering that she is a rare Esper using 12% maximum HP. So if you give her like a very high HP just like how you build Jin Yu Yao, she can deal quite some damage. And the first hit dispels all buffs from the target. This was also the strongest in Hollow battle because there are not many Esper that can dispel all buffs from their target. Usually, it they dispel only one buff per hit, 
and most of the time you can only hit like three times or four times you know so if you fight against if someone like feng soon who can give insane amount of buffs like you know dispelling all buffs becomes really really um you know needed and that second hit inflict stun for one turn so this is also uh like really strong against a single player like uh, a single target because like you deal high damage and then you dispel all their buffs and then you stun them like it be, it makes uh, that one enemy become uh, totally useless in that turn and it has also a cooldown of four turns so it's quite uh, fast you know and that's her strength in holo battle but yeah again because holo battle is gone so she is become obsolete right now and her captain ability increase ally uh, accuracy by 20% this is high like accuracy uh, if you need accuracy then uh, putting her as a captain is quite uh, good and going into her growth obviously you don't need her above level 50 because she's not a damage dealer and her survivability as long as you give like health equipment she will be uh, you know uh, doesn't have any problem surviving and going into her resonance like resonance 6 here uh, stats nice to have but she doesn't need that and then the second resonance it's reviving enemy grants accuracy plus four percent so this is good like if you fight more enemies you're gonna get more accuracy but because she is best in a three versus three situation then uh this number becomes lower like you only get 12 percent accuracy if you fight against three enemies so yeah if in the future they bring back holo battle or pvp that only has three asper in it then she will become really really strong again but until then she is kind of like on a bench right now or maybe in a in a rta if you can uh ban two of the enemy aspers uh like if you reach that high level of like you know uh rta then you can try to use Jin again like she is really really good in locking three enemies uh, permanently and going to the fourth resonance when the target is incapacitated damage plus 10 percent but then again she is not the damage dealer like this uh you know it's good to increase her third skill damage but just uh, that's it you know and then going to her ascension like this is also all right not really really good but the thing is that because she has uh the six ascension increasing her accuracy she can be easily reaching like a hundred percent accuracy because of her resonance and her ascension and the rest hp is good like it increases her third skill damage then the speed is also very very good meaning that she can stun the enemy before they can even move and then attack and health is just uh, a nice bonus like this is nice the second rest uh, the second ascension is health like i always wanted and then the third one is the one that steals 30 percent of target's hp so you definitely need to take this one if you do plan to use gene but right now i don't recommend uh leveling up your gene or using her at all because see uh, there is no more holo battle right now and even if you get to rta where you can like three versus three like, it's gonna be a long time before you can reach that level now going to the rival rune uh the uh, game developer as usual recommend win like for esper that needs to move first and for her she definitely need to move first because it's it's useless if you move after the enemy use their skill like you stun them but they already use their skills so there is no use for that so you need to be the first one to move and then the ages is just a nice bonus because if you give her hp maximum hp like why not give shield to your allies too because he doesn't need avatar like the first skill uh it does stun but uh, it's not something that you aim for because what you need is the second skill like if your second skill already hit then the first skill is not needed anymore and then to her divinate her divinate also increasing stat is a nice bonus but when the bearer's hp is full cool redeems final damage plus 15 percent too bad it's not the third skill it's the second skill so so the divinate is also useless so yeah right now she's in a very bad place but uh in, if in the future they release uh holo battle again or similar content that have three versus three asper then obviously do remember jean because she was uh, at one point the best in holo battle so yeah there's not many to talk about jean right now but maybe in the future if there's a new content coming up 
I'm gonna mention Jin again if she is needed to make a comeback in 3 vs 3. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye!